everybody, welcome to another episode of March Museums. It is Friday. Now, today is supposed to be the first day of spring, but if you see the white flakes that are coming in front of me, it's snowing in New York City in the first day of spring. And it just started snowing. But we still have two episodes. So, we are headed to Museum of New York City to see the Paul Rand um, exhibit. We're going to walk around the Fourth and the Avenue in the snow. Not too bad, but it's not as pretty. That's the thing in this way, as it. So we're gonna walk to the museum. So let's go. Okay, we're walking to the museum. It looks like I'm in a weird position because I'm putting the phone, the camera, in my bag so it doesn't get hit by the snow. So we're going to the Museum of New York City to see the Paul Rand exhibit. Um, Paul Rand is a graphic designer, a legend, advertising, advertising. He has created so many iconic logos to the ADC logo, the IBM logo, so many iconic logos that the world knows today that I remember years. He has designed them. He passed away in 1996, so this exhibit just shows Paul some of his works. This is going to be great. I'm excited about this, so we're almost there, so I'll see you and get there. Here we are in front of the museum. We're gonna go inside because it's still snow and it's getting cold. So we're gonna go inside and see the Paul Rand exhibit. Okay, here we go. Just got a chat. We got a ticket. We paid two dollars for it. And it's called the Paul Rand exhibit. There's a sign that says Paul Rand that way. So let's go. Let's see this way. Let's see. See this? No. We found it. See? It's an item. Logo. Let's go inside. Oh, this place is amazing. Look at that. Now, this entire room is all Paul Rand work. From wall to ceiling, from floor to ceilings. Let's see. See, he's like the master of advertising and design and typography and design in general. So these works are all his works. He's done for advertising, corporate America, to local with corporate brands. Every brand he's probably worked with ever, ever existed. See, the, the style of these designs are more like in the 50s. If you think of that show, um, Mad Men, is kind of around that era of time. So everything's 50s, you know, women were actually housewives and men went to work every day and made money kind of thing. So these these advertisements are based on the area 50s, 60s, kind of that way. So each display table has all of his work in it. He's amazing. Look, just so simple. He's designed is simple. It shouldn't be complex. We make complex when really it shouldn't be. He is all amazing. Paul Rand is the master of design. He's all great. See? See, like he did design for a logo for um, luggage tags. All these advertisements that were either in publications, magazines, billboards, they were somewhere around everywhere. And he's even more for a car ad. Fraser car ad that looks like for a whiskey brand or for liquor. It's all different brands and products that he advertisements for. It's so many of this. This room is full of stuff. It's for type for typewriter company. Everything is oh, this is so simple, it's so complex, but they're not they're not so overcrowded or too much going on. It's simple and it works. Let's see what's up there here. Traps. Must know the brand company you work for. And they're all different. Nothing nothing one is alike. Must be for a book for a book cover. That's him. Not sure he was younger. Not sure. Maybe. In typography, he was a master type. 
the Westinghouse logo he's famous with. This one is the top logos he created. And this must be a sketch from the Westinghouse logo. That's awesome. And another one for another company. There's more, and here's the, one, the number one famous he's known for, the IBM. He created the IBM logo. That was not the first IBM logo. The first IBM logo was a little different than that one, but that's the final design that came up with for the company. And the IBM logo is what everybody knows about today. And more IBM logo there. More, this is amazing. That was an advertisement for ice cream for kids. More type design. See, type can be designed too. It doesn't, it doesn't need letters. It can just be, it can turn to design. And Paul Ryan was a master. And this is famous. This is the next, the Apple, Steve Jobs company that he created. He created a logo for Next. If you know everything about Apple, you know anything about Steve Jobs, you know about Next. And he created the Steve Jobs logo for that. That's famous. That will always be in the phone. There's so much in this room, it's crazy. The four, yeah, four logo? That, that's the four logo. He did, he did the four logo too? Wow, I didn't know that. That's going to be me. See, now that's the original IBM logo. See, I, B, M. But they turned, changed it and turned it into actual letters of IBM. Boy, you see me, he's very big on cutouts and collage like style of doing things. But it worked. It worked very well. Kaiser, 1949. These are all his works. Every single one, look at that. He even created books. It's a thoughts of design, and that's his book he created. He also created, there's a book he created with his third wife for children's books. He did children's books with his wife. I think that's in this room to show you that I think it is. And he also created a UPS logo. That's the original UPS logo. That's one today. The Morning Star logo he created. The Morning Star Company and more logos. And then this is the logo for the Columbus, Indiana Company. Architecture. See, creating with corporate America, he was very big on that. From Steve Jobs to IBM to ABC to all of the company, he very helped. He was a big part of creating corporate America, what it is for today. Books and publications, he did book covers for authors, for his own books. And what's this? What's with this? So much stuff here. In all different types. And so much stuff. More publications. More books. See, all this stuff was from the 1950s and 60s. So this was very old. And stuff that probably does not exist anymore. It's all changed. But this is the original stuff from that time area. So if you were born in 50 and 60, you probably know about this. Or seen probably something in this room that you're not familiar to you. For me, I was not born then, so I have I don't have any memory of this stuff. So this, this is all learning, and it's great to know this stuff before your time. See, look at that, the Airwick. No, you may know Airwick now, the air freshener you put in the air. That's the Airwick logo. The Airwick um, ad from that back then. See, cigars, cigar companies. There's some great stuff here. More cigar company. He worked for big cigar companies. Yeah, as cigars, you see, El Pratoto, I think I'm not all Spanish. And each of these places will have a quote written by him. Because all each table here has this display has a quote on him. See, 
and for music and jazz. Big and very big collages. So much good things here. Publication, more publications. More book covers. He need a lot of book covers. But his design, he was so simple and so straightforward with design and he made it simple. Even the design is not simple. But he made it. <coughs> he made it. <coughs> Excuse me, he made it very simple to look at it, very simple, but it's not. But he was a master, and that's why he was a master at it. So things like this. More book covers he did. Lots more book covers. This room was packed full of stuff. I didn't know it was this big exhibit. More stuff. I know his book is in here. It should be in the one he did with his wife. He did a children's book with his wife and it should be in here. It was his third wife, you know. His marriage was not perfect, but third wife is a charm if she's the one. More great design. So much here. What's this one? More chess. Okay, let's see what's over here. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna let you all just enjoy the rest of the video. Cause this look at the art, enjoy it, admire it, study it. This is a master, and, you, you, and learning from a master is always wonderful. Paul Rand was, was a genius in design, as a craft designer, an artist, and in advertising, and it's wonderful. So let's keep watching, and enjoy the rest of the video.
Okay, that's the end of this day. It's a great exhibit. Great art with a lot. Love it. I'm going to go home. I will video and I will see you next week in our new videos and movies to come. See? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.